Here we're going to have a look at how do we use the i and j components in equations. So let's take a situation where we have a level ground here and we have a particle launched with motion that's 15i plus 20j. All right. And we know that's going to go on a little par parabolic path all the way along here and eventually land. Okay. A little darker so you can see it. There we go. Now, but how can we figure out what the different components are. So let's remember these are our five variables, V, U, A, S, T. And we'll look at the I component and the J component. All right, now in this case, J is going this way and I is this way. All right, now um, we'll fill in the easy ones first. So we have 15 in the i direction here, 20 in the j direction for u. Acceleration is zero in the i direction and is minus g in the j direction. Because remember, we define up as positive, so gravity is going down this way. Um, time is just kind of the same in both of them. So we have v and s that are a little bit trickier to work out. Okay, well, for v, we're going to use the equation v equals uh, u plus at. So the nice thing is in the i direction, a is zero. So final velocity is going to be 15. It's going to be 15 the whole way across in the i direction. In the j direction, a little bit more work. It's going to be u plus at, so 20 minus gt. All right. In the s direction, we're going to use s equals ut. That's a half at squared. Again, for i's, it's nice and straightforward because a goes to zero. So it's just ut, so it's 15t. And in the j direction, we get a little bit of a bigger equation. It's going to be 20t minus half gt squared. Okay, put those in brackets, keep them nice and tidy. And that's how they're all kind of laid out. So let's say we're asked to look at the velocity in terms of i's and j's. So we can write an equation for velocity here. Okay, again, using v equals u plus at. All right, so the velocity is 15i plus 20 minus gt, j. So we just brought each of these components up here. And now that is a, a little equation for the velocity at any point in time. Remember, g is a constant, so time is the only variable here. We can do the same for s. So again, S, well, our I component is 15T in the I direction and 20T minus a half GT squared in the J direction. Okay, it's the I direction and the J direction. That's why that's plus. What's inside the brackets may end up being minus, but we worry about that, that afterwards. Now, let's just take a little moment to look at a worked example. What about... V and S um, at time equal to five seconds. Okay, so let's put these in. The velocity is 15i, because that hasn't changed no matter what time it is, plus 20 minus 9.855 five in the j direction. That is equals 15i. Let's see what that comes out to. Twenty-nine minus twenty-nine j. Okay, so there is our velocity at five seconds. You can see how we can use this equation. We we'll break these down here first, then we use that final total equation, and we have a straight answer here. We'll do the same for the uh, distance displacement. Sorry. Displacement is, okay, it's 15 by 5 in the i direction plus 20 by 5 minus a half by 9.8 by 5 squared in the j direction. This is ripe for an error, so I'm going to do this in two steps. So that is going to be 75i, that's fine, plus 100. Minus, let's see what that one's going to be. 
one five by nine point eight by five squared, one hundred and twenty two point five in the J direction. I'm gonna see that comes out quite nicely. Seventy five I minus twenty two point five J. So that is our displacement at five seconds.